The Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, commonly referred to as Obamacare by both advocates and critics, is a federal bill signed into law on March 23, 2010 by President Barack Obama. The bill is over 900 pages long and is the largest reform of the United States healthcare industry since the introduction of Medicare. It features countless changes to the industry, some as minor as a tanning bed tax or requiring restaurants to post calorie counts. The heart of the bill creates a series of mandates for employers, insurance providers, and individuals. For employers, businesses with 50 or more full-time employees will be required to offer health insurance to their workforce. There will be some tax credits for small businesses to incentivize health care offerings or offset expenses of this new rule. For insurance companies, they can no longer deny coverage to customers based on pre-existing conditions. They are forbidden from dropping patients for getting sick, and they aren't allowed to institute annual spending caps. Furthermore, 80% of the premiums charged by insurance companies are required to go towards patient care, rather than to marketing strategies, shareholder profits, or areas that don't directly affect patient care. For individuals, the law has a mandate requiring each citizen to have an insurance plan or be charged a penalty. There are several subsidies in place to assist people in purchasing insurance. For instance, in the states that accepted federal funds, Medicaid can now be offered to individuals that earn up to 133% of the federal poverty line, and tax credits are available for earnings up to 400% of the federal poverty line. In addition, children can stay on their parents' insurance plans until they are 26, and a streamlined appeals process will assist consumers to challenge insurance company decisions denying coverage. The Affordable Care Act is projected to reduce budget deficits, improve public health, give greater access to health care for all Americans, and significantly decrease the cost of buying a private insurance plan. It could also increase entrepreneurship in this country by allowing people to quit jobs they only stay in for the benefits. Those people can now start their own business and innovate in our economy without having to worry about their family's health. As a country that was built on innovation, how can we not afford that? Thank you.